Whoa. Ah, yes. Grandpa Ron here, and gotta tell you, this uh, inverter upgrade that I did has been the most difficult, the biggest pain in the butt that I've done so far on all the uh, 70 mods I've made to this thing. Uh, I'm more of a mechanical guy, and this electrical stuff is just driving me crazy. It's failed twice now in like about a year and a half that I've had it. Once when we went up to Alaska, the uh, GFI outlets here went out and I couldn't use it at all. And then just uh, coming back from Boston, I was plugged into short power and I had this turned on when I switched my relays to go back to short power. Uh, I forgot to shut this off first and there was a little bit of an arc in those relays. And anyway, it uh, blew the unit. My first RV, it didn't have an inverter, it didn't have a microwave, nothing. So I decided to put them in because we really would like to use that. So uh, I put in a little 1500 watt uh, inverter and got a microwave from Walmart for like 50 bucks and wired it all in and it worked perfect. Had no problem with it all. So I figured, well, for this view, uh, yeah, let me do the same thing. I made my own little like transfer box. You know, why spend uh, 90 bucks for a transfer box when I can just get these little relays? So I did that, put them together. The relays made a little bit of an arc and it kind of killed this thing. It's out of warranty now and what I really want to do with it is But, you know, I'm not a violent person, so anyway, uh, I took this out, tried to fix it. I had the solderable fuses inside, didn't work out. Uh, tried it again in the blue, so it's pretty much a dead unit. Plan is to get another one, same model, so I can keep the same uh, wiring for the remote control. And I'll just swap it out, that shouldn't be too hard. And then uh, I bought a transfer switch, professional transfer switch. So I'm gonna put that in instead of my relays and we'll see how that works. Uh, but that'll be the most challenging because again, it's expect electrical work. Uh, but first, I'm gonna take out the old one. Starting to sprinkle. I'm gonna have to hurry up and get this done. Well, okay, I got in there, but it's starting to rain, so I think I'll finish it up after the rain. Yesterday turned out to be a washout. Uh, yeah, it kind of rained on and off all rest of the day. So today we'll uh, see if we can get this uh, inverter in and check it out and go from there. Alrighty. Okay. All hooked up. Time to fire up the inverter and see if she works. At least that part's working. Now I gotta figure out the transfer switch, find a place to put it, and see if I can get that to work right. I'm ready to get started, so let's get going. Time to get her done. This is my inverter wire. Uh, I'm gonna be plugging right into the box, and those right here. So far, so good. Quick fix check. I got one screw in here, and the box is gonna go next to the water heater. Got the uh, panel and the shore wires hooked into the box, transfer switch. Just have to run the inverter over, screw that in, and then bolt the panel in. Got the box in, and it's wired. Just need to hook up these wires down here. Well, okay. I think I got her all wired up. Made quite a mess here. Got the ground hooked in. There's the neutral and there's the power coming from the second transfer switch. So the wiring's ready, but I'm not sure I am. With only mild trepidation, 
Let's turn on the inverter and see if this powers up. The microwave comes on. Here the switch. Okay, for our next random test, we'll plug in the uh, shore power and see if that works. Come on, baby. Okay, it's two out of three. So what happens if I turn the inverter on now? Uh, let me think about this for a second. Well, here goes nothing. Danger, Will Robinson. Well, power's Danger. hooked up. I turn on the inverter. Let's see if she blows. I hear it starting. Okay, one more scenario to test. Because um, this is real life. I have the uh, shore power plugged in and recharging the battery. Sometimes I want to make my coffee and use the outlet over there, which is only hooked up to the inverter. So let me turn on the inverter and see if it'll work. It's on. Seems to be working. Let me just turn the inverter off. I'll lug plunk the unit just to make sure nothing got messed up. Let's see. Come on, microwave. Light up. Okay. Because I can't run it. Dang. Well, that's another mystery. But it looks like I can't have it plugged in and running the microwave at the same time or the GFI on the inverter trips. Well, it's not working perfect, but I can use the microwave and the inverter runs and shore power works. Just uh, can't use them together, but uh, anyway, at least it doesn't blow anything up. So I think we're good and I'll just keep working on it, see if I can figure out to make it a little bit better. This inverter uh, deal didn't work out perfect, but uh, what the heck, at least it's usable for me. This is Grandpa Ron. I'll see you on the road. Click the subscribe if you want to be the first to see the next one. Otherwise, until then.